Hello everyone, I'm Andrea, founder and head of growth here at Voxen, and today I want to break down with you a thought leader's profile that earns seven figures a year only through his content creation framework and LinkedIn activity. We're gonna break down the very first step of establishing a thought leadership and a growth machine on LinkedIn, which is exactly the personal profile. Let me start by breaking down uh, and uh, to break down the, the profile and start with this quote. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. This summarizes the concept of this video and the reason why I'm shooting that. Because once uh, people see our content and engages with us for the first time, our personal profile is basically the business card that needs to make a strong connection with the person who never heard of you. Otherwise, you, lose, you risk to lose their attention forever. Why is this even important? So as I was saying, your profile can either make or break the chance that somebody will continue paying attention to your content and eventually take an action, which would be visiting your website, contacting you, or just simply keeping on engaging with you. The best way to approach all this framework that I'm going to explain is to think about your profile as if it were a high converting landing page. If you're familiar with the concept of conversion rate optimization, website optimization, and landing pages, this is exactly what are we going to uncover today. And then, last but not least, remember, the profile should not sell directly, but should instead inspire people to start wanting to buy from you. Say, it should create this trust and authority that uh, makes people start considering buying something from you. So the formula, it can be summarized in this funnel with four main steps. What should a profile transmit? What should my LinkedIn profile say? And what emotions should it trigger? First of all, the profile should create relevancy. So the person inspecting our profile should think, okay, is this person discussing topics that are of interest to me? So is this somehow relevant with uh, my experience, with my problems, with my industry, with my work? The profile should basically create this connection and bridge this gap, first of all, through relevancy. Second of all, the profile should create trust. Is the value that I am receiving from this person that I'm checking out compelling enough for me to confidently follow their advice? So does it sound legit or doesn't it sound legit? These, uh, there are several persuasive levers that can be triggered on LinkedIn profile to generate trust and we're gonna see them in just a second. Third, the profile can be used to showcase social proof. So are, do others whom I respect or relate to endorse what this person is saying? Is there a strong social proof that is backing all the things that this person is saying? And ultimately, the profile should transmit authority. Does this person have credibility? Does it have credible expertise and experience in this field? Is it backed by authoritative sources? Let's go and find out how all these four elements can be linked all together to create a super strong growth machine. Let's start by analyzing the profile of Justin Welsh. I took this person as an example simply because he is a great example of how to use social media, particularly LinkedIn, to create a brand, create a solid company, sell and scale a business with a very high margin and to build a tribe of followers that is ultimately an asset over the long term. Justin Welch, over in, in just a few years, built uh, a portfolio of solopreneurs, which is his main target audience. He's selling an online course just through organic marketing and just through his LinkedIn profile. He has uh, almost 200,000 people in his newsletter, 5 million in business revenue since he started, all generated by LinkedIn and almost half a million followers. I want to show you this and now we're gonna break down section by section this LinkedIn profile to share exactly what are the psychological principles behind every choice that Justin Welsh is making in order to make more money through his personal profile. Let's start with the first part, which is the most important part, in my opinion, the top fold. And let's break down all these elements. So first of all, the profile picture. It's something that you want to be professional. If you have a professional tone, it can be more casual. Overall, it should reflect the personality that you have. It should be high quality and it should be on brand. The triggers, the, the elements that mainly triggers are trust 
and authority, depending on what is your own tone of voice and your own personality. Then next steps would be the headline. Let me remove this. The headline is very important because this is the first piece of description that people who are seeing your profile in the feed or in other people's comments are going to see and is basically going to answer to the question, okay, what does it, this person do in a nutshell? You want to catch the attention to the readers, no, the, the readers' attention in this case, and start selling the dream, okay? Telling about what do you do and what is the actual outcome that people visiting your profile and people engaging with you will achieve. In this case, Justin said, okay, the diversified solopreneur building my one person business to 5 million in revenue. Post articles about the process. So if you do the same, follow me and you are get, you're gonna get value. This is basically what this headline is saying. Third thing, top voice badge. This is something that requires some work, but showcases relevant authority and gives a premium look to the profile. People landing on this profile will immediately see that popping up and will think, okay, this person has a certain authority, so I'm more likely to trust this person. Third, the talks about section. This is something very important because when you build a personal brand on LinkedIn, you want to make sure to activate the creator functionality, which allows you to input certain hashtags and certain keywords uh, that are basically going to tell the user reading uh, the profile what are you going to talk about? What are the main topics? This is important, first of all, to create an immediate connection with the person and immediately make them understand what you're actually talking about. And also for the search engine optimization of LinkedIn. So people searching for certain keywords on the internal search engine of LinkedIn will be more likely to find your profile if you use relevant keywords here. Followers count. Clearly, this is something that the more you have, the better it is. But of course, somebody landing on somebody's profile and seeing almost 500,000 followers would be definitely more prone to listen and to read more about this person because they would think, okay, this person already has a huge following. He's already an influencer. He's already a thought leader probably. Let's see what he's saying because let's see why all these people are interested in hearing from him. Cover image as well. This is something very, very important and powerful because it's the biggest part of the profile that people can see as soon as it ends on your profile, it's a powerful attention grabber. And I see that as a, a single image pitch deck. So basically in just a portion, a narrow portion as the one that you see right here, it should basically tell us uh, what do you do, how you can help the person reading this, and who is this relevant for. As you can see, this is done in a pretty much nice way from Justin, which is basically just using the title of his course and an image of, uh, let's say, a book or a compact disc for his course, just talking directly to the people who are going to most likely be his own audience, ultimately. And then, of course, authority badges. This is something that you want to include any time as possible. This builds authority and just enhances the cover picture message by backing it with the authoritative sources. This person probably had been featured in all these uh, uh, publications, in all these magazines, it's good to tell it to your audience, that's for sure. The premium badge, this is not something that I see mandatory, but similarly to the talks, the, the, the top entrepreneurship voice and the top badges uh, gives a premium feeling to the profile and something that is unconscious but transmits in terms of psychological level makes the visitor understand that you pay for the platform and therefore you use it as a professional, which by default makes you feel, make, transmits the feeling of, okay, this is a more serious person compared with the average. This is a platform that is for free for the majority of the people. This person pays for it, so probably there is an effort, there is an investment. So it gives this natural um, authority and trust that you can uh, just leverage by having this premium badge on the page. Company highlights, okay? The company in this specific case, this is great because um, the company uh, with the same name of the creator, of Justin, uh, makes the solopreneur pay off uh, that you see in the headline stronger. So you see in the headline, hey, I am a solopreneur, my company is Justin Welsh. This enhances this messaging of the fact that you can build a company just by being by yourself and working by yourself. 
Let's move to the second part, which is something very important as well, because basically links, uh, this, is, this is where you can see a little bit of call to action, start of call to action. There is the feature section, which is the main call to action to the offer, um, which is basically a place where you can put uh, links to your website, link to freebies, link to paid offer, link to calendars, or even if you want just highlight certain posts that have had that have received good feedback from your audience. In general, this feature section wants to wants to make you bring people wherever you want to bring them after they decide that, uh, okay, they can trust you, they like you, they like the value that you bring, let's move to the next step. In this case, Justin is using one, just one link, which is basically bringing people to his core offer, which is the operating system, a course where, as you can see, uh, he, doesn't, uh, um, he doesn't lack of showcasing the social proof also in this part, simply because a lot of people like the course, he probably has a lot of reviews, it's good to remind it at every step of the journey. Second thing is the activity section. This is also something that is important because it gives it to the audience directly a link to the content that uh, the creator is producing actively. First of all, it shows that the account is active, Second of all, makes easy for the reader uh, to scroll through the recent activity and get a better sense of what this person is talking about. And then again, like there is a, um, let's say, if, if, if you are able also to showcase that you are having a good engagement and there is a good amount of likes, of comments and active conversations below your post, uh, you have an additional boost of all these elements that we were talking about before, of trust, authority, um, of uh, social proof and so on and so forth. You see that you're basically putting out thoughts that people are interested in and people want to discuss about, which is something very important in this case. The third part, it's the about and the experience. The about section is clearly very, very useful. And uh, I will record a video about how to create uh, a very catchy and, uh, and good, in this case, about section. Let's say that what you want to really to do in the about section is you want to have your own personal narrative highlighting your unique skills, your unique experience, and to create a connection from your personal story and your backstory to the professional goals that you have so that it can connect eventually with the target audience that is reading your story. Then the work experience section. This is something that uh, sometimes people ignore, but it's very important to showcase also not only what you're doing right now, but also the past experiences that you have. So as you can see, Justin is mainly the founder of his solopreneur business, which is uh, the main, well, potentially the main revenue source and the main focus of his attention. But he, does, he wants also to tell the audience, look, I'm not only on my business. I also invested in different companies. I also am an active writer for this other business of mine that is my, uh, potentially this is the newsletter. So it gives, and, and gives detailed description of his uh, achievements and his deliverables, his actually day-to-day -day activities on each specific section. Very important because this section really communicates to the audience about your experience and it's an additional boost that can reinforce everything that you said before. Then, last but not least, the really important part is about the skills of the social proof. Here, you want to showcase the expertise in the various areas, and you want to have as many endorsements as possible from connections that can add credibility to your skills. It's just an additional social proof and authority proof. Recommendation section, same thing. Here, you can ask to your former colleagues, current colleagues, friends, people you work with, clients, to actually put a recommendation that will just boost your credibility in front of your audience. And then ultimately you have publication, honor and awards. If you have anything that you can quote, if you have any specific publication, any specific article that you wrote that can somehow relate with the audience that is listening to you and can somehow be relevant for them, put it in here. Don't be shy because again, the more the better in this case. You want really to create every possible bridge between you and your unknownness towards a potential client or a potential employees and them and their story and their experience and their current situation and environment. Bonus tip, once you have everything done, what I would recommend you uh, to start doing right away is to have a daily engagement routine. 
Having a personal profile that is optimized, it's the very start, it's the greatest foundation that you can have, but it's not enough, clearly, if your goal is to grow. This is the routine that I actually do and that uh, we all in our company do for ourselves and for our clients. And it's something that is meant to compound over time and to bring more attention to yourself as a professional, to your professional profile, to your LinkedIn profile, and therefore to any call to action that you will eventually have on your profile. On a daily basis, you add 20 relevant connections from LinkedIn directly. You endorse one skill for each new connection so that uh, you create this reciprocity effect where this person will be thankful and likely to maybe endorse some new skill. Potentially, it's, it's more likely to happen if they know you or if you are able to actually showcase some sort of skill to your profile. Even if they don't give back is not a problem, but you know, long term, this is something that is meant to be helpful. Write one recommendation to colleagues, friends, uh, employees, and so on and so forth, which again creates the reciprocity effect that might um, might prompt them to do the same for you and then comment on the relevant post. Commenting is very important because it will allow you to be seen not only by the target person you're commenting to but also from their audience, so the people who are reading your post. So commenting on thought leaders, other competitors or people that are having already a following that are in a related niche of yours it's very, very important because it's going to increase your exposure very much uh, in, a, in a great way. That's the thing. So I hope that this has been helpful. Again, stay tuned for more content. I'm going to shoot way much more about these topics and similar ones. And I'm glad and I'm glad that you arrived to the end of this video. And I really hope to see you soon.